What's up, dude? Cyberlink here, and we are going to be playing episode two, season one, The Walking Dead. If you remember how we started everything off the last time, uh, it should go through a brief cap for, of everything. So uh, let's get to it. On the Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. This game series adopts the choices you make. into it. Selene Zim Zimbies. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, Here comes that's Peter Cottontail devoured by the zombie. <sighs> I still yeah. can't believe we went through all well, that anyways. commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Oh, no. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Didn't do that. Didn't yeah, mean to do that. Except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a family to look out for. He's got for. a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm dangerous. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. Damn straight. The way straight. Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't risk the noise. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! 
Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? We're I don't know, man. You. It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to that, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fuck up. Gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. But yeah, After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Help me out. Please. Uh, not this problem. isn't our problem. We should go. No, no, please! At least just look at the trap! Just look at it and maybe you can tell us how to get it off! Please help me! Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no! Now or never leave. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! There has to be a way out of this! Oh, no, 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 do something! No. Fuck! This is bad. Please! This is so bad. Oh god! Get the Please off. save Stop. him! Have fun. Fuck! There's so much blood. Just get me let's out, go, Let's go! All that blood and screaming? We're gonna be surrounded any minute! How somebody do Hurry. this? Hurry! Uh, it has to be now! Do you get it open? Uh, you have to get him out. Uh, you have stop, to! Stop, stop, stop! Damn it, Lee, just cut off your fucking leg! We can't just leave him like this. I'm sorry, but we it. have to go, now! Oh, God. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Please, I can't please. keep him back forever! Turn around and look. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. So sad looking.
get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? Who's that? What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Me? Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, your I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. I thought we could, I save, thought his we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, yep. I... Let the adults Just come talk. on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn not- Kenny's right. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that <sighs> I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? It ain't over. If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. I will. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. You look at me, you old bastard. We still have unfinished business. Your hat. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Of course. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Let's give you some crackers. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Aww. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we get some food? 
Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <sighs> He's so happy. I've just left. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, Doc, how about a little food? Uh, psych Sorry. again. <laughs> hey, Doc. All right. How about a little food? Here's a dog biscuit, I found. Actually, I think it's just a dog turd. But it'll do, right? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Doc? No, probably not. Uh, sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Do you want some food? Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Kenny. Want something to eat? Get Here, crackers Kenny, and cheese. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Of course. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone else. longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Yeah. I was actually going to give you some food. Here. I don't want anything from you. <laughs> Fine, don't eat. Fine. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh my god, shut up. You know what? <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Ah. Oh. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Mm. You know what, Larry? If I show some trust in you, maybe you'll Here, stop being such a little help. bitch. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Uh, 
Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. That's fine.